Hey guys, how's it going? Kripayan here. So, One Night in Karazhan is coming up, and one thing that I've been excited about is that warriors just keep getting better and better in Arena. Yes, it seems like Mage and Rogue are also getting better in Arena, but it's also important to realize that these very dominant Arena classes still have a few counters out there, and Warrior is actually the champion of that. While Warrior does fail really hard against the, you know, more mediocre and less popular classes, it does excel against the very popular ones. And the reason I want to mention that is with Mage and Rogue both improving in the next expansion, you're going to see even more of them. And if you don't see one of those classes when selecting your arena picks, maybe Warrior will get quite a big boost just because far fewer people are going to play Paladin, far fewer people are going to play Shaman. Nobody's going to play Priest ever. Um, so yeah, it, it seems like fewer people are going to play the matchups that are bad for Warrior and more people are going to play the matchups that are good for Warrior. And the only really thing missing is the fact that Warrior is a little bit of a different play style than you might imagine. In Constructed, you often have a very one-dimensional style of play where your deck is either fully defensive, fully tempo, or fully face. In Arena, it's more of a dynamic one that you, you literally have to shift gears between the different play styles. You start as a tempo deck, and then you either, you know, concede the, the tempo thing, knowing you have bigger minions, so you'll win the control game, so you want to try to save as much life as possible in that situation, or you're running out of big cards and you have to go face, and you really have to shift the way you use your weapons and ana analyze risky situations with minions that might get in the way or heal your opponent. So it's a very interesting play style, and I'm at the very least glad that we're also going to see a lot more of Warrior in the One Night Karazhan expansion. And so for now, I just wanted to highlight a few clips, show you guys what I'm talking about, show what it's like to really slay some mages. In a recent arena run that I had a very successful, uh, you know, go at it with Warrior, I think I played six mages in seven matches, and overall, it wasn't so bad. So check out the clips, hope you learned something, enjoy. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I forgot I had that. That's technically a three drop. Oh, you killed him with the ancient one. That's actually really cool. Yeah, well, it trades. Perfect curve continues. The main problem is a lot of the cards I'm playing are pretty low quality, but we'll see. It's maybe all right. Damn. Curve War. He's winning. We're both curving out very well, but um, his card quality is higher. See greetings. Ah, oh, dude, I don't, I don't greet. I enjoy raiding. I guess I gotta kill that. The gates are open. He's still curving out, by the way. Drink with me, friend. That 
That was still perfect curve with the board clear. I've missed like two mana crystals so far. Mostly winning because I went first. But I have a feeling that might be short lived. Though I do have a pretty big board right now. Dude, we just need an auto great option. Ancient one. Not quite the real deal, but good enough, it seems. We're gonna struggle to do well here, but we'll see. I think I'll have to keep execute because going second is really bad. Okay. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Must cleanse the sun well. Okay, yeah, I'm going for the smork here. Don't have much else going for me except for the life lead. We gotta do that. Would you play purify if it could target any minion? Probably not. Yeah, should be alright if I can just stop him from playing much. And if he pings my minion, it's pretty bad. I'm sure he's just thinking right now. I'll probably end up pinging my minion. Oh! Interesting. Okay then. You're surprised on the minion ping? Yeah, it could be snipe. Could just have a flame strike and he's trying to get closer to setting up for that. I think that's probably polymorph four. face, but it'd be such a waste to play execute on that. Get back, you scurvy dukes! Scurvy dukes. I fight dirty! That's how you threaten lethal and play around flame strike at the same time. Damn! Top deck torch. Got a ghoul. You love my new dirty. Blood and plunder. All right, I guess. Let's get moving. Oh, it's pretty rough. Lethal boys. Oh, 
a really high quality hand. different four drops, I'm sure one of them's gonna be okay. Okay, I guess. You saw a crap ton of priest on ladder yesterday. I think everyone's getting their priest in before it becomes absolute shit. <laughs> I think so. That's pretty funny if that's the case. do this because the only five drops with six attack are gonna be ones with four health and I can just bomb lob. I enjoy raiding. <laughs> Kodo. Ah, there's a few marginal answers, but generally that's the case. I can't play the, uh, s the spell. What is it? Sideshow Spell Eater? I can't play that because I lift Flame Strike. I have to play Death Spider or Reaper. I think Death Spider is probably better. Nah, it's probably worse. My board is good enough to get flame striked. I don't want to waste the the zealot here. I am the dancing master. X marks the spot. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Start running. Blood and plunder. Do I get a zero mana version? It says copy. Dude! Dude, I gotta get Ben Brode on speed dial, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess. Scammed. Oh, God. Not that one. Well, yeah, it sucks to waste 5 damage, but it protects 5 damage, and this 5 damage can hit again next turn, so... I gotta do that. Start running. Skill strike. Well, it doesn't clear, so it's okay. Top deck. Actually, that's enough, so. I guess I'm not gonna play anymore. Seriously. One-off. Crip likes mage so much, he plays mage as warrior. to uh, mulligan for early game minions and keep a rallying blade in your opener if you can. Another mage! Dude, how many is that? 
What the fuck? My last seven games, okay? Mage, 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 rogue, mage, mage, mage. That's for real, by the way. It's not, I'm not exaggerating that at all. In my last seven matches, I've played six mages and one rogue. Actually, I've only played two classes that were not mage and rogue the entire run so far. Twelve games, ten against mage and rogue. Pretty gross, actually. Yeah, I'll just go for the max tempo play. Ready to ride. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Wow. It's pretty fucking wasted, but I guess he's desperate for tempo. That is the single best card to portal. Why didn't he play it earlier? I don't understand. Flame Lance. Flame Cannon. I guess I'll take my free kills while I can get them. Hopefully no flame strike. Okay. Seems like a bad choice. Damn. Dude got pretty lucky there. Yeah, basically I needed it to land on the other other two. He has a flame strike clear here. You want it? I got it. Yeah, if he didn't win that one in three, I think he was dead. He'd be f too far behind to win. The best card in arena, in my opinion. You mean with absolute statistical certainty, Dr. Boom? They'll never know what Actually, no, I think it's muster for battle. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Well, that's good. That means he doesn't have a flame strike. Because he'd use a ping instead of that, I'm pretty sure. That's the top deck. Fireball. What does one damage but not three? Not really anything. So. That's the spell he got off the uh, conjure. Yeah, muster for battle is better than Doctor Boo. The juggler. I'm not gonna count on that to hit. In the best case, it'd be a 50-50. Frostbolt draw. Alright. Well, 
I'm at 32 and he's at 3. I think I'm likely to win just based on answers. Rather get a draw that kills him, but that's still pretty good. Get a taunt spirit part. with my scarabs here. Rip scarab lethal boys. Oh crap. Okay. His last card is a spell and the only spell that would save him here is going to be a ice block. One shot, one. Yep. 